If I ask a direct question, what is your name? Would you say I live in 23 Blackmore Avenue? Possibly, yeah. Would that be a direct answer? Yeah. Uh, it could be, yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, you can't, you can't. So in your passport, if somebody says, what's your name? In your passport, and you say 28 or 24, did I say? 28 Blackmore Avenue. But I, 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 I can make a fake passport. In your real passport, if somebody says, well, what's the real passport? She didn't want to be on the... What do you mean by real? Yeah, exactly. exactly. You're, 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 so, so you're playing, you're playing DJ, yeah, DJ. You're playing. Yeah. Well, who's this guy? You know, um, you know this guy who says, "What do you mean by this and that?" Oh yeah. yeah. No, you say a real huh? passport. Yeah, yeah. What, what is it? Define to me what a real passport is. Real passport is the one given by brother, the world brother, world brother, world brother, world brother. Validated by everyone. That brother, really please, please. He is an intelligent person. Yeah, 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 so let's that. have an intelligent discussion, okay? Thank you. So, when we are talking about concept of God, and we said one God is sitting on not one God. But God is not. Uh, he's not a concept. Okay. What I was saying, can the finite in comprehend the infinite? And your answer was? There's a connection. There's a connection. Good. Intelligent answer. Well, uh, how relevant it is, that's a different matter. Okay. If there was an ant on my hand, yep. would the ant comprehend all of me? How I look like? What do you mean? As in, as in see you. As see, 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 see you for its eyes. Not an ant, a bacteria. A bacteria. Yeah. Does a bacteria know how I look like in my entirety? Well, we don't know that. It's possible. It could, yeah. Anything's possible. Yeah, yeah. Anything's possible. So, do you think God can cease to exist if he wanted to? He can do anything he wants. And the answer is, it's possible, yeah. He can do anything. So, yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. I, I so, can God become a non-God if he wanted to? He, like I said, he can do anything, and I know where you're leading. But and the answer is, you can do anything. So let's let's affirm what you're but saying. But he choose to, that's up to him. Yeah. If God wants to, and he chooses to yeah, become non-God, you are saying yes, he can. Yeah. He can do anything. Can you answer directly, rather yeah, than with I a generic just, answer? I've, I've answered directly. So he can do anything. No, that's my answer. No, the answer is he can become a non-god. Yeah. No, my answer is he can do anything he desires. I can't tell you okay. what God will. Can will God? Do because can I am God, God become a non-god if he so desires? He can do anything. Can you not answer directly? I, I am. I'm answering you directly. Okay. Can you can you just use the word God can become? If okay. he so desires. God can do anything no. he desires. No, no. That's my answer. Can God... And that's the best answer. Listen. Because he can do anything. Can God become uh, Satan if he so desires? God can do anything. Use the words I say. He can anything do anything is too big, no, If he is no, asking no. a specific no, 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 question. No, no, no. Brother, 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 brother. But Why are you interrupting an intelligent gentleman? We, we, I've told you twice. We are not he is intelligent, so let's give him the credit. Okay. I'm not, I'm not. We, we are, are not to say... What you see how the conversation is moved? We are not to Let's say, have this one conversation, we are not right? We say or specify on what God okay. thinks or what he says or what he... Okay. Not to specify. Okay. We can't specify us as a human. Fine, fine. You know what? You make sense. So if God, who is everlasting with no end and so chooses to cease to exist, he can, yeah? He can do anything. Good. What does everlasting with no end mean? You're giving a vague question. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by your question? Oh, you didn't know what it meant and you answered no, I'm it. asking you what do you mean by your question? You're sure, sure. A vague question. I will explain, and but but before I you... I don't want you to be vague because uh, um, you, you seem to want direct. Did you understand my question before answering? But you like directness, so answer me with directness. That's what yeah. you're giving. Okay, you want to know what it means? Everlasting with no end means the life of God will be there forever and forever and it will never have an end. No, I didn't ask you I didn't ask you to tell me what it means. I asked for you to emphasize on your point. On, on my on point. What you're saying that. Okay. The point I want to establish is if we affirm in one hand God is everlasting with no end, which means he will always exist. He's anything he wants to be. Uh, you're interrupting. Thank you. If we affirm God will always be and never cease to exist, can we then also affirm God can cease to exist? He can do anything he wants. 
so the fine how line. Can, how can I speak okay. through the? I can't speak through the. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. You're making sense. So the finite can become infinite and still remain finite. Yeah. In your understanding, I, can I the finite? Know. I'm asking to confirm. Can the finite be infinite and still be finite? Only God knows that. I can't answer that. That's like me being all knowing. Do you know what finite and infinite is? Well, finite is something. Infinite. Is finite the same as infinite? No. Okay. So can the finite become infinite and remain finite? But what is your point? I will tell you only once we engage with that. No, tell me can the point. finite be infinite no, and that, remain finite? No, because now you've gone on to something different. So we're not talking about God anymore, we're talking about finite and... and is, God, is God finite infinite. or infinite no, in no, his no, knowledge? No. no, no, so you're talking about finite and infinite. And that's something that's not exactly irrelevant, but it's not to emphasize on the point that you want to emphasize, which is what I want you to do. I want to understand, can God make the Bible false? Can, can God what? Make the Bible false. Your God. Can God make the Bible... Can your God make the Bible false? Can he make Bible false? He can do anything he wants. Okay. So how do you know he hasn't done that already? Well, here's the thing. The Bible is not the truth. I'll tell you what it is. Well done. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, go it, ahead. It's better than the... <laughs> Alan, click, I, click. No, no, well I, done. I know, and don't do that. But I know you're going to do it. Yeah. It's better than the truth. It's the beginning of the manifestation of the truth. Okay. Do you get what I mean? No. You don't get what I mean? I don't. Uh, I'm not as smart I, as you I, are. I, 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 no. You, you do get what I mean. You just don't no, I don't. You do. Seriously, I don't. No, you do. And you just don't want to emphasize on the point. Why are you this? enforcing your knowledge I'm on me? Enforcing. I may be I'm infinitely ignorant than you. But why God, you, why no, are you no, no. enforcing that? No, I know you're not. Uh, but God gives certain abilities to everyone. Uh, you know, we're made in His image. He gives certain abilities, and you know, even Satan gives you abilities. So, you know, I can't say whether God gave you this or Satan gave you this, or I can't say that's that's not. But um, I, I know you know more than that. You just don't want to emphasize on the point. But that's fine. Who is the only true God according to Jesus, who came down on this earth to tell about God? What, what, what do you mean? Who is the true God? Do you consider Jesus Christ to be a truthful person? Absolutely. Good. So we have a common ground. Absolutely. Excellent. We have now a common ground. Um, Jesus Christ is a truthful person. Absolutely. What did he say about the only true God and who that is? You tell me. I will, but do you know? No, I don't. You tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Ignorant. He said, as recorded in the New Testament, in the book of John, chapter 17, <laughs> verse 3. This is eternal life that you may know you, referring to the Father. You are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou have sent. Amen. So according to Jesus Christ. If that is how it's written, amen. If Jesus Christ, do you want to bring this up yeah, on yeah. your phone? Again. If Jesus Christ is saying that the only true God is the Father. Amen. Do you agree John, or disagree with him? John 17.3. I agree. Okay. So if Jesus Christ says the Father is the only true God, can Jesus Christ be also true God? Absolutely. How? Do you want to read that? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us how. I can read it another time. Yeah, okay. Tell us how. Uh, rephrase your question. So what were you asking? You are the only true God. Yeah. Okay. There are several words of exclusivity, exclusion. What do you mean? What words? For example, yeah. one, two, three, four, five people here, right? The immediate five people. You are the only true mathematician in this group. No, no, I, I Okay. He's giving an you example. are the only true He's accountant. An you are the only true accountant. Yep. Can there be another accountant between the five of us? Well, how could you say there isn't? If I made that statement, yeah. if I made the statement upon my knowledge, my knowledge upon your knowledge exactly yeah. just like jesus in his knowledge said that yeah but he knew everything so yeah yeah, yeah. It's so, something so completely different. if if i said that can there be another accountant here if you say that well i mean yeah there could be you don't know i could be an accountant he could be an accountant now for example he's doctor right yeah you're engineer okay <laughs> he's a teacher yeah. i'm an accountant if i made if i made a yeah. statement that in a planet yeah 
someone is the only human being, right. what would you understand by that in this planet? There's another one. There's another human being number two. What statement are you making? You say if somebody make if you read in a fictional story, yeah. I'm sure you've read some of them, right? Of course, intelligent person like yourself would have done that. In the story, it says Robinson Crusoe is the only human being on that island. Right. What would you understand by that? That a certain someone, a person with a pen, right? Because we're talking about a book. Mm -hmm. So you, you write with a pen, yeah. wrote that. I don't know what you want How to say. How many human beings would you understand in that island? Well, I don't know that. It's written in a book. It's written in a book. It's written in a book. Okay. It's, it's written in a book no. that some random person no, no. has uh, written. No, no. Look, look, look. Here is not someone as smart as you are, but he's saying, apologies, no, okay. right? Okay, because he's a, he's a smart yeah, know, individual. If the sun is the only star in our solar system, how many suns or stars in our solar system is he talking about? Well, according to you, there's, who's it according to? If somebody said that. If some, well, that's according to them. And what if that someone has all the knowledge? And he says there's only one true thing. Well, then you're talking about someone who is... You know what? You know what? If Jesus Christ said he's the only begotten son of God, can there be another begotten son? Sorry? No. No. What made you say that? What in the statement, what words within that statement made it clear to you that there cannot be another? Which word? Well, it's not there must be a clue in the oh, language. No, no, no. It's not a particular word. It's just me knowing that he is the only son of God. No. That's in that statement, in the English language that I said. No, 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 but I'm not talking about that particular statement. I'm, I'm, I'm talking the about the statement. Okay. If Jesus Christ makes a statement that I am the only son of God, right. can there be another? You said no. So what within that statement gave you the clue, the linguistic clue that excludes him to be that there can be no other son. Yeah. What what gave you that clue? The, which well, word? Said it. Which word gave you the clue? No, you just said it. You just said. You just. I just said. Or paraphrased. It okay. Said. Is it is it this word? <laughs> there, there. T H E R E. There. Is that the clue word? What point are you trying to make? I'm trying because to. I, I, I'm trying to. Just I'm get trying to point. learn something from your gifted knowledge that God has given you. I don't know anything. Right. Neither do I. But I know you're a smart Alex, right? So you know a lot. So, there, I, Jesus Christ is the only son of God. Do you agree the word only could be the clue? Um, only begotten son of God? Only, the word only could have been the clue here? Well, we wasn't alive at that point. So there had when to be somebody makes a statement Hold that on. Jesus Christ is the only begotten son of God, yeah. do you think the word only could have been the clue? The only... Well, not the only way, but the way that the Creator decided for this to be manifested is through His Word. So we went, I wasn't alive at that particular time, so I have the Word. Okay. Right? Let, me, have. let me rephrase it. There is no God except Yahweh. Right. How many gods do you think it means in here? Well, it doesn't matter what I think. What no, no, I in that think? statement. That's, uh, Share some of your knowledge, bro. Right, just, How many gods would that mean here? There is no God but only no, Yahweh. I believe in one God. No, right. in that statement of mine. Okay, I let me let me quote a biblical verse. There is no God formed before me. There is no God after me. I alone am God, and there is none else. Right. How many God is that statement saying? <laughs> saying God. How many? God. It's not. Set, it's not given a, nu a numerical. How many? It's not a numerical response. Two. If you repeat what you said, you can't respond numerically. Okay. So okay. Fine. Does it mean there are two gods? Five gods? Twenty gods? Or is it reducible to? It's however God decides. So it could be fifty if He wanted to. Okay. If He wanted to. Yeah. So when somebody means. says there is no God besides me. Is me 50? No, because God himself yeah. is the source of good. He's the source. The one source, not the 50 sources. The he's, one source. He's the source. 
against the Twins. The source of good. Does that make sense? Hear Israel, the Lord, your God, the Lord is? Can you finish my statement? Hear Israel. Shema, Israel. Listen, I'm not using... The Lord, your God, the Lord is... Listen, I'm not using numericals here. I'm saying... Okay. I am I'm not saying, using either. Listen, We're on the same page. I am not. I am using... The text. Numerical, I can't I can't state numerically because God, if he wanted to, could decide yeah. to send fifty you know what? sons you know if what? he wanted to. One thing we agree. A lot of people, those people who are still watching, we should celebrate their achievement of patience. All of you have succeeded <laughs> in being patient. That's one thing we have, have to celebrate, right? The discussion that we're having so long. They remain patient to, to listen to our discussion. Okay, now, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. One. That's what the text says. 